In this video, we're going to be giving the solution for problem 5 from Super Quiz 2. Here we're being asked to compute an inverse Laplace transform, and we want to use the convolution theorem to do it. So recall, if you have the product of two Laplace transforms, so you have function f and a function g, and you find their Laplace transforms and multiply them, that will give you the same thing as if you took the Laplace transform of the convolution of f and g. So this is what we call the convolution theorem. All right, so if we spin this around by taking the inverse Laplace transform, then we'd say, okay, what if you take the inverse Laplace transform of L of f times L of g, Okay, take it again on the, the right-hand side, and then it just goes away. You'll just get the convolution of f and g. So what this says is if we can recognize the input of an inverse Laplace transform as the product of two Laplace transforms, then the inverse Laplace transform will be just found by computing the convolution of the functions f and g. So in our case, we have the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared times s minus 1. And we can view this as the inverse Laplace transform of the product of 1 over s squared with 1 over s minus 1. And why do we want to do that? Well, it's because we had a Laplace transform table, and we know how to recognize each of these factors as the Laplace transform of some function. So, for example, 1 over s squared is the Laplace transform of t. And 1 over s minus 1 is the Laplace transform of e to the t. And so, using the convolution theorem, we can rewrite this as t convolved with e to the t. And by the previous problem that we solved, problem number 4, see that video, we know that t convolved with e to the t is e to the t minus t minus 1. 